Happy birthday, 1935. We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly. Not anyone regular. The Don. It's gonna be war. I'm ready for him. I hope so. I hope so too, man. Anything else you'll want to gossip about while I'm here? Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war thumb. From today, we are at war. This era of life is so interesting to me because it really is like that's all that's all people do and say they're like we're at war well that's good yeah you are the poor barman just stood there what have you got to say hey it true the don slipped carla the bump not you yeah it wasn't pretty still blood in his veins huh less than carlos Where are they? Oh, they are upstairs. It said upstairs, but then I could have sworn that the tracker said that I was in the right Keeping spot. Out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. How about people on the left side? Forget about that. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Our guy's in place. Well. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first we have to soften them up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off. So we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. <laughs> Don't go <laughs> getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore. Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. Yeah, because y'all put me on a boat. I, it doesn't sound like y'all have an exit Everybody's plan for me. Boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. All right, let's go boating. I am curious. There's a little red dot just vibing around on this map. Also, you can't run in these safe zones, which is a bit irritating. I wish to run. Let me be free. Fine. This is even slower. Why is his like walk so slow? Oh, the little red dot's gone. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it, hopefully. Let's 
So yeah, it doesn't appear here. It only appears when I go up the stairs. Right, so you would think logically that means it's upstairs. But I can't get to it. Okay. Fine. As long as I'm not crazy. And just like completely missing something. But it doesn't look like I am. So we shall get to the docks. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement! If you enjoy Lo-Fi Let's Plays to relax to, subscribe now and never miss a video. There's a new episode every day, so subscribe to get notified for new content. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Now back to the episode. Alright, where is Sam and Polly? At least Sam I know will definitely have a strategy, so I don't have to worry too much. But, Polly's a loose cannon, and this plan, I mean look, no plan is gonna go to, go to plan. But attention folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You'll also be the finest for family in the city. Thank you for no your doubt. Roberto Gilotti welcomes you to the delightful birthday soiree aboard the Lost Haven Queen. Boarding 3 p.m., sailing 4, food 4 to 7, speech and fireworks 7, entertainment till late. Captain William R. Porter and the crew of the Lost Haven Queen will be taking us out the West River and then past Central Island in the lofty heights of Beach Hill. The scenic views of the St. Paul coast will then be yours to take in as we approach the firework barges and set up in preparation for our grand event. On my mind. He Who's said done more? You got an invite too? Oh, did you hear there's gonna be fun? You don't look like a guy with an invite. Uh, I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. Find the unconscious sailor. Am I just gonna mug some dude? To whom it may concern, I write in reference to my forthcoming event on the Lost Haven Queen. I was today warned by an associate about a potential threat to my safety. As such, I'll be bringing my own security to staff the party. I also expect the following. Only those holding tickets will be allowed on board. Your crew will not be admitted into the bar area. I will only be mixing with my closest friends here. All the Lost Haven Queen crew must be on the lookout for suspicious behavior. Hmm. Why is there a question mark in this room? Probably because the dude's here. We do not match the vibe of this adorable outfit. like we belong in a theater play. <laughs> know you'd get a real job someday. Oh, thanks, man. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. Yeah. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Yeah. Don't worry. It'll go. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Look a good time. I know you mean yeah, like eggs and up. coffee, but Suits. you said eggs in coffee, which. 
I don't know about you, I have never heard to be smooth ever. You got a party to go to. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. Hey man, it's first day on the job. Give me some slack. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. Is that not what I have you guys angel? for? He's got us looking out for him. You guys do not seem archangel worthy, but you know. Thanks guys, I appreciate it. Almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Okay. Ask the crew about the janitor. Hmm. As in random crew? Don't I know you from someplace? Nah. Don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the union maybe? Sorry, buddy. I'm from out of town. Isn't that more suspicious, though? Just because we know so many, like, people have an issue. Can't believe I got an invite. Drinks till dawn, Why would I deliberately talk to someone who's clearly an enemy? Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but, uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Well, let's go to the engine room, then. It is a very snazzy ship, you know? The music also is a good vibe. Alright, it's telling me to go this way. I imagine the engine room is below deck though, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me go down this flight of stairs. Relax, Tommy, dude. Right? I hid the gun in the john in the stern. Mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, keys on the table there. Nice. Uh -huh. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh. Yeah, I, I get that. That is very true. Like, he did just casually say her name, and he doesn't exactly look to be the most tight lipped fellow. So, okay. <gasps> oh. That's really nice, actually. That's a really nice shot. Okay, so. I'm assuming we're on the lowest deck, right? So, let's go to the middle one. And let's retrieve this gun. The scenery is actually really nice. Can't can't lie. I do know you. You're with Salieri. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. What? Why? You got some trouble. <laughs> <in the th> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I love how he's saying Jesus like he didn't start this fight. Like, sir. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> Sir, you come up in my face and confront me, and you think I don't have hands? Come on. Where the fuck are you? Uh, an ugly revolver? No. I want, like, a sniper rifle. <laughs> or, at that point, I'll even take a shotgun over a peewee pistol. Dude, this is actually really pretty. Like, this is beautiful. Look at this. 
Oh my god, it's so atmospheric. Um. Ah, uh, yes, the perfect sniper point for a revolver. I'm gonna miss this shot, and I'm gonna be so embarrassed. Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hello, I'm just late in the open. This man can't see me. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Oh, I'm so anxious. Three years ago, my dear son Billy left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased that is organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. Mm -hmm. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? Alright, I'm just I'm just testing guys. I just just gotta get this lined up. It didn't really go off. I was a little early. Oh, I can't take a real gun. Do all you only have revolvers? No way. Oh, you only have revolvers. Why? Escape the boat, how? Right here. Out of here. Ooh, 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 Tommy gun, Tommy gun. Oh, you can't really shoot out this window. Alright, I'm gonna have to. Can I not leave out this way? Oh no, I can't. Alright. Oh, I'm about to die. I think I'm just sucking today. What is going on? Why can't I... There we go. That's one dude down. Dude, this revolver is going to be the death of me. They both just disappear. There we go. Not much better, but it's better. Ooh. What did I just pick up instead?
aim for this. Is, uh, there we go. Uh, this unfortunately does have more bullets, so I will take it. That's the same thing we saw before. That's fine. I'm on this person's body, which isn't like, good. Alright, I have like no health. Where are all the health packs I saw while we were all along the ship, huh? Where are those? Can I even go this way? I'll laugh so hard if I have to make like the biggest U-turn on Earth. It's called the path, path of least resistance, you know, let's just... Why is there just a bathroom here? Oh, these guys really didn't see me for a while. Why can't I jump over things? There we go. Definitely could have been far worse. But I didn't die! I'm actually surprised I didn't die. Chapter complete. Happy birthday. You lucky bastard. 1935. We're not with Tommy. We're Vinny and Sam. He's trying to beat the train. We can make it. I mean, we're lucky we didn't die by a train. <laughs> yes, it could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, yeah, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morel has killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss.
All right. Let's get to this man's house and see if we can get rid of his luck. Also, can I, do I now have access to wherever this was? It's bothering me so much because it's a door. <gasps> we do have access now. Okay, what is behind this door? It has to be a comic book, right? Oh, wow. Photograph family. That's such a cute photo. Oh, that's nice. Cigarette cards collected. Hmm. Cool. I do love the collectibles in games, especially when they're like tailored to the era. I don't, however, like being forced to walk slowly. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. Sorry, did that man just admit that he is in like our opposing gang's crew? Because that's like. Oh, wait, I could change the color? What did I press? Oh. Uh, the aquamarine is kind of sexy. Also, it's the red. But you know. Did I get a fresh new paint on this car just to tear it up? Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm a menace. And I love it. It seems to have merely added fuel to the cop. Local officers, traffic. Yeah, that's got to be Sergio's car. How am I going to get through to it? Okay. So there's a very convenient side alleyway. So I'm guessing we're going to go through that. And this man isn't going to mind? Nope, let's just go past him. It'll be fine. Uh, who's that dude, though? Is that dude not bothered by me? I feel like he should be. Is this, like, Gardner really just minding his business? This gardener clearly doesn't love his boss. Oh my god, look at him! Oh please, grow up! What? Grow up, sir! I am a gangster and I just planted a car bomb! What do you mean? It wasn't a friggin' water balloon! What do you mean, grow up? That's crazy. I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. <gasps> oh, we have a kid. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey, stop! <laughs> oh, no, no. Bro, we gotta get out of here. Vinny. Why are we still at this payphone? It all went bad. Hey, pull it together, Tom. Whatever happened, happened. There's nothing you can do about it now. Sergio's luck is running out. Wait. What are, you, what are you talking about? Sam and Paulie have found him. He's in Georgie's restaurant across town. You need to get over there fast. Why did y'all not know this before y'all made me go to his house and plant a bomb in a car where, like, his family would also be? Now, 
Like, we should have made sure of that, guys. Alright. Let's go. Gilotti was gunned down while giving a speech at his own birthday party of Yes he was. Taran, you okay? No, I'm not okay. Y'all yeah. made it's me blow up. up. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. If he really is as lucky as they say, guys, I don't know if the plot armor might be too thick. The hell? Oh my god, a whole diner? A message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! First we take you out of me! Then it's your boss! What am I looking out for? You enjoying your meal? Drag the special fellas! Four of these guys! Get some extra Take them out! Shit! Alright, that's two dudes there. Where's the other dude who's just vibing? We cleaned them out! Come on, we gotta push up! Get after him! Sergio's getting away! Tom, we gotta get Sergio! He yeah, 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 that's fine. Let me load. We're gonna throw some land. Oh my god! Oh, oh boy! Semi automatic pistol. Oh, yes. But also, Tommy Gun. Get me out of here! How does this man get in a car? Oh, he's gone! Go get him, Tommy! Come on! Let's get back to the car! We gotta catch up before that idiot gets himself killed! Yeah, what am I gonna do on this bike exactly? Oh, this is oh, this handles so badly. It's not even funny. Ma'am, get out the way. Please. I have killed an innocent lady already today, and unfortunately, I think that list will just continue to grow. The motorcycle's lost control. The motorcycle's lost control? Do y'all see the car that I am chasing? So get it! Oh my god. He's gonna hit a corner and I'm not gonna be prepared for it. Yep. Oh my god, this is such a pretty scene. Oh, what is happening here? Yeah, also, why am I not shooting? Like, I'm pressing every button and I can't shoot back. So I feel like staying, keeping a safe distance is what I need to do because nothing else. Like, I can't shoot. Great, I am now in front of him. Oh. Yeah, why am I heaping up if I can't shoot? This doesn't make sense to me? Oh my god. Like if he clips me again, I'm gone. I've pressed every button, all my bumpers, all my triggers. Why, why, why is it red? What's happening? Uh, 
I really do want to keep my distance. I kind of wish. Oh, I kind of wish I got in a car. Watch for the motorcycle. The harbor. Where on earth are they going? What are you idiots doing? Kill that motherfucker! Get every guy we got down here now. He's coming this way. All right. What have we got going on? I got just vibing. Um, it says there's a health kit somewhere, which I'd greatly appreciate considering I am very much close to death. Where is this dude? Oh, he's up there. Oh, there's no way I make that, Sean. <laughs> dude. My, I'm convinced that my buttons just hate me. This dude's just back here. I have no bullets. None to speak of. Oh. That sniper's really doing a number on me. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god. That guy was beating me up. I'm almost tempted to go up here just to see if there's anything worthwhile. Ooh! Someone hit me. Got a shot. Who and where? Saw a guy down here. There he is. Oh, <gasps> someone has a, a real gun. Someone is doing work on me. And I don't see where. I have no idea where they are. Okay. It might be time to come down for no other reason so I can maybe see the sniper who is lighting me up it's probably a very bad idea it's a terrible idea there's a dude doing a number on me and I don't know from where oh you're there Move up. 
Yes, I am. There we go. All right. Is this hey, dude? Hey, over here. There we go. There's very conveniently ammo and a health kit. And a lovely Sergio Morello, Lost Haven Collectible. Alright. I might hold this for now. I see him! Lining up a shot. Get cover! Is there a sniper? There is a sniper. Cover me He's right up there. I'm gonna let him reload. Oh, he's gonna. Alright. That dude. Alright. You get like three shots. Good. All right, I got him. <laughs> I love that he screams and then ragdolls. All right. Let's move up. Oh yeah? Ah. I was hoping nine bullets would be enough. It was not. What just hit me? Oh, there's a sniper again up there. <laughs> 